we didn't and uh, and overall I mean like I said my service central guys did a, just did a fantastic job all day you know we I don't think we lost a spot in the pits all day I don't think that we you know hurt ourselves at all on or off the track I, I don't think I made any mistakes and um, overall it's just a good day Grant for a just people looking at this, they might consider what Dan was able to do in his first start with this team and possibly the only start of the whole year, a surprise. Can you explain why it is or is not necessarily a surprise for the way that turned out and, and also if you've had a chance to talk to your dad after your great run? Um, I mean, I don't see what Dan's done as a surprise at all. You know, Dan's a fantastic driver. He's always proven it, particularly here. He's always been really good. He's won here before. That team is really a, you know, from what I see, that was a three-car team this month. Tagliani, Weldon, and Bell. All three cars were <laughs> fast as can be. So I'm not surprised. Um, you know, I, 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 my hat goes off to Dan. He's a great guy, and uh, he did a fantastic job today. Did exactly what he needed to do. And uh, as far as talking to Dad, I saw him briefly, said a couple of words, um, and then kind of just came over here. So I'm sure I'll see him more uh, more this afternoon. The atmosphere was fantastic. The crowd looked great. Um, the whole build-up to it was uh, was incredible. So it's a it was a very special day. So, um, but as far as those guys that you thought were gonna dominate and didn't, you know, it's <laughs> it's this place. Sorry, follow up. Uh, Penske really did not perform. I was surprised about that actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you there. I was. Because I raced with Briscoe a couple times, I passed Elio a couple times, passed Will, and they just, they didn't have it. I mean, you could see Briscoe just did not feel comfortable all day. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm pretty surprised that, that they weren't faster. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Graham, there was a lot of talk uh, with the week, weeks leading up to the race about the double file restarts and scrutiny about it. How did it feel out there? Felt good. You know what, honestly, I thought with the, the changes that they made and letting us just race, you know, um, I thought it was, I thought the restarts were great. Um, there was a lot of, a lot of passing opportunities, plenty of excitement. I haven't watched a race tape, but I thought that the, the, uh, the excitement was, was incredible, you know, inside of the car. The last restart, I passed seven positions and there were three lap cars in there. So 10 cars in one corner. Um, so you know, it really, I think that it, it gave you the opportunity to do that. You know, people would get bogged down or that it, it moved the cars around just enough that you had to be really like almost on the grass, you know, on four to make it work. And it was just, it was good fun. I'm not sure it's going to work on the road courses, but I think on all the other ovals from here on out, that should be the way it is. Just let us go racing. Put it in our hands. Don't don't give us 20 rules in which we have to, to work by and uh, that's going to just make it harder and more confusing. Graham, what was it like, if only briefly, to lead the Indy 500? I mean, what, what was what was it like to be at the point? It, it felt good, but obviously my, my focus was go as fast as I possibly can. And I had Dixon breathing down my neck, and I could see that. And, you know, I, it, uh, it felt nice, but I hope that's not the last laps I lead here. Uh, Graham, in recent years, one of the complaints has been not enough American drivers. Now we've got two to finish, two and three, and almost one and three. Uh, do you think the, this is going to attract more Americans? I don't think that the results attract more Americans. I think what it comes down to is um, IndyCar racing is, is be, I think, it's, it's on the rise. We saw it today. I mean, the ticket sales were up huge. You could visibly see the difference from this year to last year in the crowd size. Um, I think that's what attracts people because that's what attracts sponsors. You know, that's what it will attract drivers is the opportunities that the sponsors present them. Um, you know, clearly in my case with Service Central, I'm here because of them. JR is at, at, uh, at Panther because of National Guard. That's what's going to attract people is the opportunities that they see. Um, but I think as far as the show, today was, it was more, far more passing today than I thought would ever be possible around here. And I thought it was a, a hell of a lot of fun, that's for sure. Back here. Graham, you mentioned earlier that you don't have the adjustable front wings. Is that by choice or is that because it's a new team? No, rear wing, rear wing pillars. Um, that's, that's not necessarily by choice, um, but you know, 
there's two ways to look at it. Yeah, it's an advantage. At the end there, under yellow, you could crank a little wing out of it. You're gonna go faster. Same time, you know, there's a story about the, the Ganassi boys a long time ago. They were telling me that they took out rear wing accidentally and added front wing on Jimmy Vassar once, which is obviously gonna turn the thing like a top. So, um, you know, you can you can shoot yourself in the foot too with it. So. Um, you know, really, it just came down to we're a new team as of five months ago, and we haven't gotten around to that. There's a lot of things we need to do before making adjustable rear wing. We announced our team on a, your team on a kind of a cold day at this press room. This was a pretty darn good result for me. Thank well, you for coming in. Yeah, I mean, they're, we're riding a high, second and third. I mean, it feels fantastic. So, and obviously, to be the highest finishing Ganassi car, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Graham. You know, you're, you're